And that was a little trick from Originator. This is the first song on the album Fill the Sky. And the reason I played it is that, as you can see, I really do enjoy playing slides. As a matter of fact, I think I have an addiction to them. And maybe there's a support group out there for players who are addicted to slides. I don't know. I, I just use it all the time. And sometimes it's, uh, it's good because it's part of your style, but sometimes it's a bit overdoing it. So it's something I always have to kind of keep in check. And slides are very useful because they allow you to go from one note to the other. Uh, bypassing the usual means of doing it. So we have the legato, we have tapping, I mean, sorry, uh, picking. We could have tapping, depending what note it is. And we can change strings. But the slide has a really peculiar sound to it. We can do it obvious. We can do it very slight. We can hit the string before we do it. And then you get two notes. So I really enjoy it. It's very expressive to me, and it's one of the techniques I like most. Um, sometimes when you start, it's really hard to point, you know, to actually uh, aim right. So you, you go, and you go to the wrong note, and then you kind of have to work your way back, and that sounds like crap, so we don't want that. And I'm going to give you a little exercise. The mechanics of this are very simple. Just take a note and slide. So the control you have really is about how obvious the slide is, because we can do it just as a switching position and you won't even hear that I've done it. Or I can do it as an effect. Very, very obvious. Or I can do it a bit lighter. So these are the mechanics. The mechanics really have to do with how fast you move and how, uh, and if any, you release the pressure at all. You know, sometimes you want to release the pressure or just hold it really hard and you get that stepwise motion, okay? So that's really up to you. So let's focus on the aiming, which is pretty important. Um, take any, any note, wherever you want, and say a number above or below the one you have. So let's say I'm, I'm playing 9, and I say 5, and I play just as fast as I can. So now I say 12, and if I do it like that and I don't do it right, I try again, 5, 12. Okay, that's better, and you, I keep doing it until I do it perfect, right? And then I do it again, so 9, 10, 14. I don't like it, go back to 10, do it perfect, then go to 5, and like that. You try that way, just aiming for the right note. And this brings me to another little piece of advice you can use for all the techniques we've done so far, vibrato, bending, and slide. Do everything with every finger on every string. Okay, so for example, I'm going to bend a note a half step, and I'm going to bend it from the 8th fret. So you have to do it with one finger, and you bend it. Then I want to bend a whole step with this finger again. And then I want to slide, always with, the, with this one finger. And then I want to vibrate horizontally. Okay? You mix it up with all three techniques. Practice every finger on every fret, on every string. And this will give you a lot of control.